So this is a custom KG100 112 FX. I'm on the drive channel. The overdrive is um, itself is, you know, it's almost zero. It's like one or eight o'clock. It's an Archer ST10. So ST in the case of this Archer must stand for standard Telecaster or something like that, right? But I'm here to check out the, uh, so that's your baseline sound. Um. Okay, so, um, sounds kind of trebly. I'm in the mid position. Let's try the uh, neck. Anyway, uh, let's try the pedal. Everything is at 12 o'clock. It looks like the orange burst from Kayleen, which is... Uh, Clone of, I was going to say BBE, but I don't think it's a BBE. It's a, uh, I don't remember. You can find the information on the internet. Maybe I'll put it in the description here. I'd like to make uh, a photograph of the internals of the drive. Anyway, we've got um, all four controls at 12 o'clock. So I'm going to turn the, you have um, volume and gain, and then you have bass and treble, treble and bass. I'm going to turn the gain way down and just uh, try to retain a unity gain. Everything at noon being here being um, a little above unity gain with the amplifier. Let's try um, turning the gain down. <laughs> Okay, so I had to turn the uh, volume up quite a bit when I turned the gain down to virtually nil to retain a unity gain, which is probably a good sign. Uh, 
Well, I think it might indicate more flexibility in the pedal. Now, what we probably really want to hear, though, is, um, well, it depends on what you're after, but we'd probably all like to hear this gain all the way up, right? Okay, so I have the gain all the way up now, and um, the volume is virtually nil. There's some noise. Even with this in the middle pickup position. Uh, so it has a lot of uh, headroom or something. So actually, I think that just is, for me, that's a little bit, it's almost bordering on distortion. But it's good to know that the pedal has a lot of versatility as far as flavors of drive. Now, some people would just put the drive down to virtually nil and then run with a um, hot volume. Uh, So I have the same settings, but I turned the treble to zero. That treble control does not sound like a high pass filter. It sounds like a band stop or band reject filter. I've been wrong many times in my life, so I could be wrong. I could be mistaken here. Uh, yeah, I guess it would be a high pass. Maybe it tilts, you know, like when you turn it. Okay. This is from your view. When you start going low, turning down the treble from the midpoint, then... Uh, you get a certain type of filtering, and then when you turn it up, you get another kind of filtering. It's funny that I would say high pass, and I even checked that in my brain before I said it. Because your treble control, you know, shouldn't be involved with a high pass, right? It should be, or rather a low shelf, same thing, right? Same difference. Your treble control will be on the other end of the spectrum, like a high shelf. Or maybe even a low pass. Now, that doesn't really make sense. Low pass and treble control probably don't go in the same sentence but anyway turning down the treble i thought uh well that would work that would be a sort of a low pass in conjunction with the treble control yeah so i had maybe i had it scrambled um it wouldn't be the first time anyway that's full that's full treble right there 
Turn it down. Uh, yeah, high pass wasn't the right wording. Um, it would be a it would be a high shelf or a low pass. It, okay, whatever it is, um, it doesn't sound like it's on the ends. It sounds like, for some reason. And, you know, I could definitely be mistaken. It sounds like a cut somewhere. Maybe 2K, 3K, 4K. It's probably a roll-off. It probably really is a high shell for a low pass. But for some reason, my ear was like, that's a cut. So that was sort of the treble control. So the bass is a little bit subtle. Uh, that's with the bass way up. It really starts to, you can hear it when you get up towards maximum. Anyway, that's the big orange i think it says heavy overdrive on it no it's beyond heavy it's a crushing overdrive so i think it's uh pretty versatile you know if you have any kind of gas anywhere near the level i've got um you're always changing your drive pedals in and out i suppose if you're a pro you know you've settled on a drive pedal and maybe you've got tri you've got them in triplicates so you can have backups out on the road. But if you know you're uh, like in an apartment or a garage or a bedroom, and you're messing around with some gas, uh, drive pedals, you know, dirt pedals. You got your boost, overdrive, distortion, fuzz, that sort of grouping in general. Um, there's just there are so many choices out there these days. Uh, and this is not a bad one. This is a this is a pretty good pedal. Uh, I think that uh, just from going through on the when I was doing the custom amplifier demo back there, <laughs> I think that um, I'm going to enjoy these Midland and Leon drives even more. So that's the orange crush. No, um, the big orange crushing overdrive from Kayleen. 